Hey guys, I'm Matt Montana. You're watching Mont TV. And after recent travels, I find myself back at my spiritual home of Cineworld here in Bracknell. The anticipation levels are reaching DEFCON 5. As time grows ever increasingly closer to the screening of the next release, the big release from one of my most favorite actors, Tom Hanks. Hanks doesn't make a bad movie. His filmography is absolutely incredible. Here, in no particular order, are my all-time favorite Tom Hanks movies. There's also a special mention for Captain Phillips. Now, Hank's performance in that movie, especially in that last 30 minutes, is absolutely fantastic. It's, an, it's a must watch and a pure acting masterclass. Anyway, back to tonight. I'm gonna be giving an instant response movie review to A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. In this movie, Hanks takes on the role of Mr. Rogers. Well, Brian, this is a very nutritious lunch. Are the food groups represented? Did your mum marry Mr. Rogers? No, Mr. Johnson. Can't believe I finally managed to get a breakfast club quote in there. <laughs> yes, Mr. Fred Rogers, the wonderful US TV personality. The movie is inspired by a 1998 article for Esquire called Can You Say Hero by Tom Junode. Marielle Heller directs and I think it's uh, time to go and watch the movie. What do you say? Good. It's a beautiful day in the neighbourhood. Indeed it is. <laughs> You're going to be in screen four, seat G10. Lovely. Enjoy Thanks very much. Good Enjoy. man. Cheers. Oh, you always got to love the staff here at Cineworld. There he is. Mentioning the staff here at Cineworld. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Oh, really good man. Really good. Nice one. Right, okay, so there we go. I've just uh, finished watching A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. And guess what? Kenny walks past me. It's always a beautiful day in the neighbourhood when he's in town. How you doing, man? You okay? Not too bad, Yeah, good, thank you. Good. <laughs> right, A Beautiful Day in the Neighbourhood. Um, what an unusual movie. I've sort of come out, and normally I do my instant response, but I actually sat there for a little bit, thinking about what I'd just seen. It's, it's a good film, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful film. It's, it's dark, um, there's a serious tone to it. Um, the writer who initially came up with the uh, 1998 Esquire piece, which uh, was written about, um, about Fred Rogers, he has sort of given a character called Lloyd Vogels at the centerpiece of this, played by Matthew Reese, who's fantastic, really great. Um, and we're dealing with his demons, and um, you know he's got demons, demons from his childhood. He doesn't get on with his father. His mother's dead. Um, I ain't saying too much here, but you're dealing with that, and also how wonderful Fred Rogers is. It's a really interesting piece. There's some wonderful bits which are actually authentic on the set of the Mr. Rogers show, and there's wonderful little bits of animation. Um, all sort of entwined together to really make this movie rather unique. Movies are meant to make you think. They're, they're meant to give you um, feelings and reactions, good or bad. And this certainly does that. It, it's made me think and made me ponder. From the word go, as soon as that movie started, I was enthralled by it. 
there wasn't many people in the cinema and I just found myself completely focused on the screen, which is a wonderful thing to achieve. And it's made me come out thinking, feeling good about life, which is a good thing as well. Tom Hanks is making this his business, yeah, to play these sort of cultural icons. And he's becoming a US, a cultural US icon himself. Um, it's a similar role to playing Walt Disney in Saving Mr. Banks. Um, and he's just fantastic. There's one moment in the movie where he just looks at the screen and there is complete silence and it is just a, a shot zooming in on his face, a close-up for about, it must, be, it must be 30 seconds, could be a minute and nothing else happens. We're just looking at his face. He's captivating, he's beautiful. Go and see this movie. It's quirky, it's original, it's lovable, and I'm giving it a Mont TV official rating of three stars. That's good in my book. Yeah, really enjoyable, good movie. Hanks is great. Chris Cooper's in it as well, fantastic. Just remember to subscribe. Remember to spread the word of Mont TV. Follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page, and uh, feel free to send me a message or comment about anything to do with uh, Mont TV and, uh, and film in general, yeah? Okay, cool. Catch you soon, guys.